Hey everyone, Dr. Colleen here. I'm going to walk you through some hip mobility exercises, stretches that are going to both fall under static and dynamic. Okay, so we're going to start on our mat. Now again, you want to make sure that you can safely get down on the mat and get off the mat if you're going to try any of these. I'm going to show you them with all the proper form cues as possible and then go through them for about 30 seconds and Feel free on your end to go up to a minute or a minute and a half if it feels right. Okay, so we're gonna start with the figure four seated. So my hands are behind me. You can do whatever way feels more comfortable for you. I like to point my fingers behind. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna stretch the left hip first. So I'm gonna lengthen my right leg down, cross my left ankle over, and begin to pull in my heel towards my glute. At this point, I begin to sit up nice and tall when I feel that's all that I can pull the heel in. And then I slowly bring my glutes towards my heel. I don't want to lose this though, okay, because I don't feel any stretch at all. I want to still be lengthening up through the spine. So if I need to, we can stay further back to stay lifted so that you feel it in the hip. So I'll show you on this side where we're feeling that on the other side. Okay, so up and in, up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, jaw relaxed, neck relaxed, lifting up tall, engaging that core if you can, and just thinking about slightly put, pulling, you don't have to push it or pull it with anything, just pulling that knee away from that same side shoulder as you sit up nice and tall. Inhales and exhales through the nose or nose and mouth whatever feels right and then to come out of it safely I like to slide my glutes away from my heel at first give me a little bit more room to slide that leg down take it off shake out the legs and now we're going to switch to the other side so I'm just going to start my timer here and make sure that I do give you a good 30 seconds for each one okay so slide that over now this is my tighter side so I do have to lean back a little bit further to kind of get started sitting up nice and tall coming forward now I can't come as close to that heel this time because I really want to be thinking about pushing or pulling that knee away from my shoulder and sitting up tall again I could come all the way into here but I feel nothing in this hip right now so that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the sitting up nice and tall, a slight pull away of that knee from the shoulder, and you actually feeling something in this area here. So this is what we call and consider a static stretch. So this is something you would do after your activity, or you can just do it for this program that we're in right now, which would be just part of your hip mobilities, um, part of your weekly program but if you're going to do a cardio or sport this would be a stretch you would do after not before and we're going to include some dynamic stretches as well which you could do before your activity but also a part of this okay so i'm going to lower that down bring that out and then shake the legs out okay so i'm just going to turn on a slight angle here and now we're going to do figure four with rotations. So again, come into it safely, whatever feels right. I, I went on the same side and we're just gonna turn to the right. And again, only go down as far as it feels good for you and come to the left. Ooh, I really feel that one coming in that direction. So inhale and exhale. Up nice and tall through that spine, jaw and neck and chest relaxed. Just getting that movement. Okay. And come back to center, get myself a little straightened up, switch legs, and go down to the left. It's my left leg crossing and then over to the right. Okay, again, you're going to feel one side tighter than the other or 
sharing with you more sensations. So this side I don't really feel too much, but it feels good. Definitely feels good. And I know definitely after kind of losing my balance there, you might move a little bit, maybe one more each side. Definitely will feel great afterwards. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna come and I'm just gonna do windshield wipers. So again, I'm gonna be on an angle. So we got those nice and warmed up pretty intensely with the pull. And now we should feel like we have some good motion. So I'll come in the front real quick. So we're just dropping side to side. So my knee is coming in line with my heel. So it just might take a few to really find that magic spot. Inhale and exhale. Okay, and you can do these in any order. If you're following with me, then obviously you're gonna do it in this order. But if there's like six of these or four of these that you really like and it really feels good, then just pick those and do those on your time. Okay, so this next one I'm gonna come up. Now again, it has to feel good for you to be able to sit back on your heels, okay? If not, you could get a block and put that up there. But we're gonna come up onto all fours at first. We're gonna strength, st or sorry, stretch out our front leg. Bring this back just a little bit so maybe you can see the whole foot since the puppies have left the room. Okay, good. So we're gonna rock a little forward and then we're gonna go back, okay? So I didn't say it before, but the last two ones, exercise stretches we just did were dynamic stretches. So those are things you could do before you start your sport or activity or just have it part of your hip mobility. And this again is another dynamic movement. Okay, so we're inhaling and exhaling. Fingers spread nice and wide, really push into those fingertips. So all the stress is not going into your wrists that your hands are taking some of that. And I'm mostly using this right leg to come up and then to enjoy that stretch back. Okay, let's do two more. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Okay, so if you can follow that 30 second to one minute rule, or if you like picking a number of doing 10 to 12 on each side, whatever feels good. Okay, so I'm onto all fours, stretch my right leg out now, and I'm going back and forward. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep the shoulders relaxed, the neck and jaw. All of this movement is and activity is happening in the lower body to lift yourself up, engage that core to help with that lift off. Let's do one more. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Don't hesitate between each one to give your hips a little shake. Um, okay. And the hips a little break. Okay, so now we're going to go into another movement, dynamic move to get those hips. So we're going to start in a seated position up nice and tall. We're going to bring one foot in, the other foot in. Sit up nice and tall so the soles of our feet are together and then that leg back out and back out. Okay, I'm going to turn on a little bit of angle and then I'm going to switch which leg started. Come in with the left first, right, left, and right. See, a little bit for the brain, right. Left, sit up nice and tall. Think about bringing those knees down to the floor. Back out, right and left. Again, left side now. And then right, sit up nice and tall. And then 
left and right. Let's do one more. Hopefully I didn't miss a flow. Right, left, up nice and tall. Right and left. Beautiful job. Okay, so now we're gonna come back onto all fours. So just give those hips a little moment to settle back in. And this is a bit of a strengthening, but also um, stability and stretching. So another dynamic move. Here we go. Belly is engaged. Knees are about hip width apart. Hands are about hip width apart. Remember, we're engaging by really gripping down on the mat with our fingers. We're going to go into what's called a fire hydrant. So the leg's going to come out. We're going to stretch it out, point that toe, bring it back in, lower back down. Okay, make sure this doesn't happen. We want to keep that belly nice and engaged. I'm looking at the camera just to engage, but you want to keep that head down towards, we don't want to be up like this. We want to keep that head nice and neutral, feeling long through that spine. And here we go, up, stretch, in, down. Engage, lengthen, in, and down. Okay, if you need to reset in between, I try to put, keep as much weight in both hands because the tendency is to want to lean back on this back hand as you lift up. So I try really hard to stay anchored in both hands as I'm doing that. Okay, let's do one more on this side. And down. Okay, we'll switch around. Now one side is going to be more challenging than the other. And this would be this side for me. So here we go. Knees about hip width apart. Feet are relaxed. Belly is engaged. Again, if you, um, just to mention real quick, if you have the hypermobility in your joints, so when you do this with your arm, the elbow is above your upper and lower arm. I want you to think for all of these um, exercises to really keep a slight bend in the elbows. I'll come in this direction. A slight bend or make sure you do a rotation to hold that nice instead of letting them pop um, up and forward, okay? So for me, when I do that, it still stays in a straight line, but for many people, it will bow forward and that's not giving you um, good pressure on your joints. So um, I think about always keeping a slight bend, engaging those arms and uh, gripping through those fingers to keep my wrist safe. Okay, here we go. Right side out, stretch, in, down. And I do like to do this one in front of a mirror because when we have imbalance in our musculature, in our hips, tightness in some areas, some weakness in others, we will do what's easiest. And so what my body wants to do is go back a little bit and stretch because this muscle back here is stronger than these muscles on the side. So you really want to draw it out and then stretch that foot in. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. And down. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, so you really should have felt that all along that area there. If you felt it a little further back, then either get a mirror nearby or just watch yourself a little closer and then once you get hang of it, you can bring that neck down um, towards the floor so that this stays neutral because we don't end up with neck stuff and neck tension and shoulder tension when we're trying to loosen up our hips. So give yourself that time. You gotta learn the names, you gotta learn the flow, you gotta create the muscle memory. So consistency is key in coming back and learning that proper proprioception. So that's knowing where your body's moving in space. Okay, this next one we're gonna go into a runner's lunge and flow into a hamstring. So again, all of these continue to be dynamic movements that you could do before a workout. Okay, so runner's lunge. I'll start with this leg first. 
Okay, so first you have to get yourself into a nice position. If, if the floor is too hard on your knee, you can always double up your mat or put a towel, whatever feels good for you. Okay, so since I'm on a hard floor, I'm gonna double up my mat, okay? And I might come off of it, because since this is a flow. Okay, so runner's lunge, heel is in line with me. Got a nice straight line, going back to my back knee. And you can choose, I like being up on my toe or coming down flat on the foot, whatever works for you, okay? So we're gonna start here in the runner's lunge, and then we're gonna lean back, bring that heel or up onto our heel, and you don't have to pull too hard on your toes if you don't want to. The more you pull on your toes, the more calf is gonna get involved, and that might just be too tight at this point because we haven't done anything to warm up the calves. Okay, so then now we're wanting to feel it more in this area here. Okay, so we're gonna inhale and exhale. Again, keeping the upper body as nice and relaxed as possible. And exhale. And keeping the spine as neutral. And inhale. And exhale. And last one. And exhale. Good. So from there, we're just going to switch. I'm just going to keep that knee on. Bring my other one. I just have to tap it a few times to get it forward. Kind of lean forward, get to know that range of motion. Um, and then from here, for some reason, this leg, I prefer the foot to be flat, but I'm going to try to stay consistent and keep both sides um, the same, whatever I do. Okay. So my fingertips are a little more engaged than your standard plank or uh, hit, um, all fours, but that's totally up to you. You don't have to do that. Okay, so we're going to inhale and exhale. And so this foot is still in line with this hip as my knee is with the other side. And so inhale. And now this one, my hamstring is generally tighter on this side. So I just want to be very gentle with warming that up. Just an old injury of mine. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. One more. And exhale. Now again, if this is on your hip mobility program of your week and not right before, you could spend more time in this runner's lunge. Okay, going deeper into it. Or you could spend more time in this hamstring stretch, which I tend to do on my hip mobility days, just to keep the healing going on in the hamstring. Okay? All right. Make sure. Okay. Got two more to go. This is another runner stretch, so I'm going to do this again. And again, this has to be a time where you are cleared, oops, hello, cleared to do rotation, okay? So I'm gonna move this mat forward. Okay, so we're gonna come up into the run, runner's lunge. Again, I usually start with my foot here, tap, tap. Don't know why I do that, but I do if you can get that knee. So we're gonna come into a runner's lunge. This time I'm gonna put my elbow on my knee and I'm going to just reach my arm back. Come back down into a runner's lunge. Come up and rotate back. You can reach down towards your foot or straight behind you. And then down. And then up. up. So I like to 
Inhale. And then exhale. Let's do one more. And exhale. Good job. And then just move this. See me. Okay, we did that side. We're going to do right side forward. Come on down. Both hands can be on the left, or you can do one on each side. I switch between the two. All right, so inhale, exhale, and reach back. All right, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, Let's do two more, inhale, and exhale, last one, and exhale. Bring that back, shift your mat, have a seat if that feels good. Just kind of center those hips out again. And now we're gonna finish with a static stretch. Okay, so we started with one. We did a lot of, or all the rest were dynamic flows, inhale and exhaling, utilizing our breath as we do that, centering ourselves, engaging the core. And now we're gonna go into a piriformis stretch which is um, again into that glute. So I'm gonna walk you through it slowly, even if it's possible for you. If not, um, I'm gonna show you a modification, okay? So actually, let's just do the modification first. 90-90, which is a great stretch, okay? So my front leg is out 90-90. This back leg is out 90-90. Our goal is to get the hip as balanced as possible, and then begin to walk my upper body down. And if you can, rest your head all the way down. So I'm feeling that in this left hip on this side, I am lengthening through my spine, because if again, if I lose that lengthen in the spine, I don't feel anything in this stretch. Bam, that's the only movement I had to do, and now it's lighting up um, a little bit even into the inner thigh. Okay. So nice inhales if you can relax the head, if you need a block or to bring your hands up to hold the head. Try to let it just relax as you enjoy the stretch. Okay, so this would be step one. Step two would begin to straighten that bottom leg and then roll a little forward so your hips are facing down um, towards the mat completely. And again, that back foot can be completely relaxed or curled, and then you can work your way down into a uh, relaxed forehead on hands position. And then just inhaling and exhaling. Okay, but if this is too much, if it's too much rotation, just stick with that 90-90, which is a perfectly awesome stretch to do the 90-90, okay? So let's switch sides. So now we're gonna go right, 90-90, 90-90, shift over so you're on that. Again, this is my tighter side, so we'll see if I can go as far down. Still lengthening through that spine so I don't lose that stretch. So you're really feeling it right about there. Relax the jaw, relax the shoulders, relax your neck. And just breathe. Big inhales and exhales. And if it feels safe for you, you're going to lengthen that bottom leg. Begin to roll. Oh, that's my <laughs> dog. That's funny. Um, 
then just allow that hip. It's just a little bit of a kind of a corkscrew rotation added in. That wasn't there before. You can go all the way down again if you're even up here. That is okay. Okay? We have to all start from somewhere. In some areas I'm more flexible than in other areas. Okay, but again, big inhale and exhale. Relax that back foot if you want to. Make sure everything's relaxed and you're just feeling it all in this area down in here. Okay, always to come out of these stretches, we're going to engage our core. We're going to use our upper body to help us up. And then I just kind of roll away and let myself come out of it in a natural way. Okay, um, I'm actually going to add two more because they're really good ones. Um, again, you have to be able to get into this position where you can sit on your ankle, stretch one leg out to the side. So it was kind of like it's the movement one, but now we're in the static hold of it. Okay, so really getting a nice stretch here in that inner thigh. Now that we've gone through all the movement ones, everything's nice and warm. We can finish with more of these static holds to really get it lengthened and filled with wonderful healing fluid to get that moving, okay? Other side, in line, inhale, relax down and feel it in this position here, I'm oh, sorry, in this area here. Everything relaxed, just breathing. Now when I do this stretch first before all those movements, I could really feel it, but this just feels like nice and comfortable. It's been warmed up. I'm gonna come out of that slowly. Okay, just a few variations for this last stretch we're going to come back onto our back so nice and slow slow yourself down get your head supported let's just bring the knees in real quick that always feels great and do some hip circles bring both feet down stretch those arms up overhead real quick we set our bodies on the mat here. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna start with the left, bring that left knee in, and then bring it across. So knee down twist. Here, I like to take my opposite arm and actually raise it on an angle to the other side to really get my lat involved in this. Okay, there's different variations for your legs. Okay, if we can only be down here, you can bring the foot out in front. You can hook your opposite knee, or sorry, heel onto the knee and give it a pull. So you just choose what feels right for you, all while still lengthening this arm behind you to feel that open up through here. Okay, and then come out of it nice and slow. Bring that knee in. You would stay on the mat. I'm going to roll on up and switch sides. Roll on back. Bring your right knee in this time. Come across. Take that opposite arm. Reach it on a diagonal. You could do a, um, a goal post. I think it's called. I really like to stretch that arm up and get that armpit to open down the side of my body. You can also just go out to the side. And if you like none of the above, it doesn't feel good on your shoulder, 
and just hold it here on the hip. Okay, again, we have the different options. We can come out, or we can take the bottom heel onto that top knee. And you just, again, you want to stay neutral with your neck or look away. Beautiful big inhales and exhales. And then when you're ready, come back to center, engage that core. Your back could be a little vulnerable right now. It's been stretched. Those knees, a nice stretch. Right knees to chest, open up that back. And then to safely come up, we're going to shift our hips back. We're going to roll onto one side. Use our arms to push us up. And there we have it. So at this point, your hips should feel nice and loose and mobile and, uh, and happy.